kind of got some hair mail. My sister sent me a box today and she said she sent me another wig um, to review. My younger sister Chrissy, Glam Life Wig and Makeup Reviews on YouTube here. So let's see what she sent me. Uh, statements. She sent me a bunch of other stuff. She sent me some makeup from her makeup channel. Oh, I love setting sprays and all kinds of goodies. Oh, it's like Christmas. Oh, oh, she sent me a Profusion eyeshadow and cheek. Oh no, eyes and cheek. Yeah, eyes and cheek. Ooh. Sometimes they break. Yeah, that shadow broke. Maybe I can fix it if I don't lose too much of it, but that's really pretty. These are definitely her colors. And some sheet masks, maybe it'll help me with my wrinkles. And, uh, ooh, good, fragile tan. So I love this kind of stuff for, for self tanning. It comes out like that. And then I usually use a mitt. Um, yeah, so that I have the appearance of healthy glowing skin without using um, the real sun. And she sent me one of these little lip balms. Oh, how cool. A couple brushes and ah, oh, eco tools. So I asked her, because she sent me eco tools before these brushes, I asked her where she got them because I had my favorite one and I lost it in my move. And so she, she picked me up a couple more. These are my favorite. They do that dot, dot perfect on me. Yeah. Oh, and she sent me some foundation to try. So this is the L'Oreal. So I'll have to give that a try and see if it doesn't settle into all of my, my wrinkles. I got a lot of really good um, suggestions after I did my makeup on a video um, a couple weeks ago. And she sent me a new e.l.f. primer to try. I love e.l.f. primer. Ooh, this is kind of a clear one. It has that silicone slip to it that I absolutely love. Ooh. All right. So let's see what statements which she sent. She sent Rhythm in the color F33-27. Oh, and she sent me some earrings. How cute. When I go back to Kansas, I'm taking Christy to get her ears pierced. She doesn't have any pierced ears. So let's look at rhythm. I'm thinking of all the rhythm songs that I know. <laughs> and I won't sing them because I know YouTube doesn't like that. Hey, that's kind of cute. It has a hairnet. It has some tags. I'm going to cut them off because I'm not sending this anywhere. I still have stuff to figure out where I'm going to move this stuff to. I'm trying to get one of my sons to off it for me. Okay. So the color F3327. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. This is apricot. No, nutmeg. This is nutmeg and Henry Mungu. It just happens to be laying over here. I'm trying to figure out what to do with all my wigs. And it's kind of reminding me of that. It kind of reminds me of that. This has really pale gold blonde highlighting in the front. I like that. Real pretty. Has kind of a feathery look. Looks, this reminds me of Fair Fawcett in the 78, early Charlie's Angels. That kind of reminds me of a very early Charlie's Angels, Fair Fawcett vibe, which I'm totally for. Oh, yeah. So, let's just put it on. All right. What are we working with here? <laughs> I got the primer on my fingers. Okay.
Okay. Okay. I am kind of digging it. Where's my, where did I put my water? And I'm trying to get a vibe for the style. Now, I've never seen the manufacturer's photo at all. What's it called? Rhythm. I was talking to Vicki this morning. She's got a channel here on YouTube. She does a lot of red styles. She's a Texan. Who loves her high hair and red and uh, we were talking about some of the styles that she can say when she watches my videos I know that's not your style because I, I like it high so this is on the left so it has a basic cap it does have a bit of an extended nape with velcro adjusters it's got kind of a mullet like type thing here Kind of like a mullet type thing. And it's got permatease, but not really too billowy. Let's see what these bangs are like. I don't know why I didn't prepare for this. I didn't really prepare to do a wig video. See all the mess I have over here? Let's see. Very impromptu. It was just on the porch. I saw the, I was sitting here talking, um, uh, FaceTiming, I guess, on Messenger, and I saw the mailman walk away, and I thought, oh, I know I'm expecting a box from my younger sister. Chrissy, Glam Wife Wig and Makeup Reviews. Okay, so I see the cap. There's the cap. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I got wigs everywhere. They're hanging all over the place. <laughs> Thankfully, it's the weekend and uh, a good time to start trying to figure out what to do with them. I, I'm, I'm, I, I've been talking in the Facebook group. There's a couple of them and I've been kind of, I guess, complaining about since I've moved feeling overwhelmed with wigs everywhere and how to, I can't find what I'm looking for in the morning and I don't know what style to wear. And, um, you know, I'm actually kind of loving this right now. Um, I'm, I'm actually kind of really loving this right now. <laughs> I'm actually kind of really loving this. Um, yeah, I'm actually kind of really loving this. I like that this is in the back and not constantly in the front. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of loving this. Yeah, I'm kind of loving this. <laughs> wow, sis. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of loving this. No product in it. I'm trying to think, where's my product? I can walk you through my, my room here, which is a mess. But I want to put some peace out cream in it, I think. I don't know if you can see me anymore. I don't know where I put it. That's why I need to clean up everything in here because I feel like I've got a mess everywhere. Let me come back over here where the lighting is better. I, I think I like this. <laughs> what a surprise. I mean, this is a surprise. I, I, I like bangs that are already in it. I, I 
think I think I really like this. So I'm a right hand parter. So let's see what she does this way. I get a real classic 70s with that, but wow. You know, when I was talking to Vicki this morning, I was remembering, ooh, I was remembering my, my beginning days of the wig journey and how, uh, it was, uh, late 2014, early 2015 and how, um, I used to, I used to remember, I used to remember, I remember getting like 40% off on, um, sister wigs and, uh, certain sites. I used to always get the Paula Young catalog because I loved uh, Jacqueline Smith and I, I never pulled the trigger on any of her wig styles. I don't know. There was just some shame around wearing a wig, you know, being my skin color and wearing a wig. And then I remember maybe late 2015, no, 16, 17, everyone coming out saying that wig prices were going up and it was all across the board and this is just how it's going to be. And then I never got those 40% off coupons anymore. And now it's just, it is what it is. And they're all high, high, they're all expensive. So in finding other options that are more reasonable to, to explore and to expand on, um, I'm all for it. And I would never have picked this up, you know. Um, I would never spend two or three hundred dollars on something like this. Now, granted, I don't know what this cost my sister, um, but I know it wasn't two or three hundred dollars. And like the wigs I was looking at yesterday, shopping uh, Paula Young shopping online, and then getting out of the Paula Young styles and going into the John Renaults and the Kel Welches, it reminded me, whoa, what a jump, what a jump. And you know, when you're seriously using wigs to get you back into life from uh, depression and uh, surgeries and uh, that that there's a lot of aggression with those kinds of things that losing your hair does not help and when you can't afford it because of surgeries and medication and doctor's appointments and then you try to get a wig and you just, it's just a uh, and then the wig's not right and then the cost of shipping it back and then the the terrible cost customer service um, i i just think it's important to let go of i don't know what i'm trying to say i'm thinking about a conversation i probably shouldn't bring up <laughs> Let, let go of petty stuff and just go for it. Yeah, just let go of what other people are going to think about you um, and just get back out there because this is awesome. This is an awesome style. And I would wear this way over uh, one of the ones I've got stacked up in the closet there and that are all over here that cost me two and three and four hundred dollars any day. I am into it. This is freaking awesome. So I will have the color linked in the description. If you want to see what it looks like online, I kind of think I want to look at it online. I am all about it. today I'm gonna be taking Pete over to a dog park that I found that's it's it's like an uh, old water basin that they have um, dried out and because it's already fenced in and dogs kind of run wild and it's kind of neat it's kind of it go, goes in so yeah come with me to the dog park on Instagram and daily dazzle and dawn on Instagram and I'll, I'll, I'll let you see me walking and talking with it so I can get out of this room and I'll come back and clean it up this weekend. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk soon.